on you will go, though the weather be foul. You miss 100% of the shots you never take. On you will go, though your enemies prowl. Put in the work, the hours, the sweat. On you will go, though the hack and cracked howl. See, dreams don't come true. Dreams are made true. All right, everybody. How did you like the little intro? Uh, I threw a bunch of them together uh, last time around, like just after I did my last ankle cast, just to kind of spruce it up. I was feeling so uh, less than Rish's awesome productions that he puts together for his Rish Outcast, so I figured I had to do something. So I put together my awesome intros. I've got another one that I'm going to put at the end that uh, hopefully you guys will think is cool too. Uh, but anyways, uh, this is Big Anklevich. Welcome to another episode of the Ankle Cast. This is my episode for the start of November. Uh, today is the 1st of November, and... Uh, yeah, it's basically the first month of my goals, the first month of my five-year plan. Uh, last month, I started into it, but that was all just kind of gravy, because October, or November 1st, I guess we'll say, is the start of the five-year plan, and um, going until next, well, five years from now, uh, in November, because basically my birthday is right at the end of October, and so I use that as my uh, starting point and ending point. Um, yeah, it was rough. Uh, I turned 40 years old. I am 40 years old in now several days, and it sucks to be 40 years old. I don't like it at all. Uh, luckily, I don't think about it very much, so that's good. Uh, I haven't really thought about my age for a long time. Once I got past, like, I don't know, 21 or whatever it was, I, I didn't think about it much. And there were times in my 30s where I would have to actually do the math going back and saying, okay, it's this year, I go back to 1974, and okay, so that means I'm 33 now. Because, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't think about that kind of stuff all that much, but 40 is just one of those one of those years. I guess 50 will probably be another one of those birthdays where I really uh, get upset about it. 50 is kind of like halfway or whatever. That's the hump, you know. They say you're over the hill, uh, and I think that's when you turn 50 because, you know, the... The there's the, I guess there's the possibility. Not a lot of people make it to 100 years, but that's kind of what somebody thinks of when they think of a lifespan of a human or whatever. You know, you're around 100 years, you have your 100-year span. 50's halfway there. 40 is the beginning of the Middle Ages. In the Middle Ages, <laughs> sorry. Of Middle Age, I guess. Uh... And yeah, I'm there. I, I, it, it upsets me because I want to think of myself as younger than that. I don't want to feel like I'm middle-aged, but uh, I'm 40. Uh, anyways, we'll get off of that depressing topic and get back onto the, uh, the five-year plan, which I, I mentioned in the last show, my idea to become uh, a, a writer who lives off of his work within the next five years. It was a goal that I made for myself back when I was 30, and when I turned 30, and I did absolutely nothing to achieve it. This time around, I'm going to do things to achieve it. Uh, some motivational speaker somewhere once said, a goal is a dream with a deadline. Now, I've had the dream for a long time. Now I'm going to give it the deadline. I don't know who the motivational speaker is, although you'll find a quote from him in my little intros. Uh, I've got a bunch of them. Uh, this was just the first one that you heard at the start of this show. 
Um, I've got several different ones that'll come up in each show. Uh, plus my special thing at the end of the episode. Stay tuned. <laughs> Anyways, how did my first uh, month go? It wasn't really the first month since we're actually starting now, but my first pre-month or whatever you want to call it, uh, what were my goals? My goals were that I was supposed to write 10,000 words. I was supposed to write a story and I was supposed to publish a story in October. Um, I did succeed in writing 10,000 words. I actually wrote 15,000 words in October. Uh, last night, I sat down and forced myself to keep writing after, or to keep writing, to write some more after Halloween festivities ended. All the kids had gone to bed and I sat down and I said, okay, I've got about an hour before midnight and I'm thousand, not even a thousand words away. I think it was like 700 words shy, but I'm going to make it to 15,000. And so I started writing and I made it to 15,000, like 123 or something. I don't remember exactly, but it was over 15,000, which was cool um, because that's a, half again. Uh, what my goal was so that excites me and uh, the funny thing about that is that I looked over I've been putting all the words I write in a spreadsheet that counts it up for me and I looked at all the days and I wrote 16 days in October I didn't write at all 15 days basically exactly half of the time I didn't write um, which means I could still vastly increase my output if I just stepped it up some. So that's what I'm planning on doing. Um, this month, my goal is going to be to write every day. Even if it's just a little bit, I got to write every day. Um, hopefully it won't be like the last time I made a goal like this. And, you know, there'll be Rish over at my house at three in the morning we just finished recording and I'm like okay see you later I got to start writing and get some writing in before you go <laughs> or before I go to bed even though it's 3 a.m. I don't want that to be the case so I'm gonna try and be better at it than that uh, it's always a little weird uh, for me in November because November is one of the months of sweeps if you've uh, ever heard of that and since I work in TV uh, it's kind of a crazy month. We, they, we do all sorts of stuff to try and get great ratings so that, uh, you know, we'll be, make more money and have a, a, our business do better. Um, so anyways, while we're doing all that stuff, that does take up a, a little extra of my time. Uh, often I'll have to stay and work overtime to get things done and, and so forth. So hopefully... I'll still be able to write every day. Uh, November is a big deal for a lot of people because it's National Novel Writing Month, or NaNoWriMo. And while that's cool, uh, I'm more of the uh, mind of the guys in the Roundtable podcast. They have a little writer's group that they put together, and they're... Their motto is that every month is national, no, or every month is novel writing month, or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to stick with that. You know, I'm writing on a novel or a story or whatever all the time, not just November. Um, November's not really a good month for me, so I'm not going to bust my butt to try and get 50,000 words in November. I may pick a month this year and see if I can do that. Um, that would be cool. I saw one of those uh, memes out there where they had that guy, I don't even know where he's from, some uh, alcohol commercials. Uh, I don't even know what it is though, but he's like the most interesting guy in the world or whatever his deal is. I've never really seen the commercials, but they always have him say, I don't always do something, but when I do, blah, blah, blah. And it was one of those and he said, I don't always write 
but when I do, I write 50,000 words in a month. Um, I may still try and do that some month this year, but uh, it's not going to be this month. My goal this month is 15,000 words. I'm hoping to do way more than that, but that's the goal that I'm setting to, you know, it's, it's kind of my, my low bar to jump over. I, I mean to go way above that bar, but we'll see. I, I want to at least have one goal that I fulfill. Uh, because, yeah, going to my other goals that I had for October, I didn't get a story published uh, like I was supposed to have. Uh, when I say November's a bad month for me, October turned out to be a bad month for me, and I... And obviously we brought it upon ourselves because uh, normally Rish and I plan ahead and we have our annual 13 Nights of Halloween event uh, really well taken care of so that it's not a last minute dash kind of a thing. But we hadn't, I don't think we'd even decided if we were actually going to do it until well into October, like the the 8th or the 9th or something like that is when we finally decided, okay, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this 13 Nights thing and let's record some episodes right now. And so we decided to do it, which, uh, yeah, that, that just meant that there was a lot of stuff to do uh, with the podcast. I had to get the big final story together, our little uh, audio drama from another world. I had to put that together, edit that up, and uh, add the sound effects and all that kind of stuff. Um, and yeah, when it came down to it at the very end, you know, and I'm like the the grasshopper from those, the, the fable, I think it's one of those Aesop's fables, the ants and the grasshopper, and the grasshopper just plays his fiddle all summer long and has a good time while the ants are out there working in the fields all the time and getting ready for winter and the grasshoppers always like what are you why don't you guys have some fun you jerks uh you're making me look bad and and the ants just keep working and then when winter comes all of a sudden the grasshoppers like oh crap i shouldn't have just fiddled all winter long i should have done some work because now i'm starving to death and these ants are just down in their nice warm homes feeling happy i'm like that grasshopper um, I have a tendency to procrastinate. So the early parts of the month, I kept not writing. And then uh, I would write some. And then as the later parts of the month came along, I was writing more and more. Because my goal was to write 10,000 words, but it was also to finish the story. I was supposed to finish a story, and I didn't finish it. I'm 15,000 words into this damn story, and it's still going. And it's still going strong. I think it may be more than 20,000 words when I'm done with it, or even 25. It's going to be my first novella, uh, which I didn't want it to be. I wanted it to be a regular old story and just be done, but it turned out to be. And so I'm going with it still. Uh, I'm hoping that next story next time around when I'm writing a story, I can really cut it shorter. That's something that I think I need to learn, especially if you want to get a lot of stories done and try and do something with them. Um, you know, you got to finish them. You can't just keep writing, 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 and making these things that aren't short stories, but aren't novels. You know what I mean? Like a novelette and a novella are in that no man's land where nobody cares about them. Nobody wants them. Um, I guess if I'm self-publishing, it probably is not that big of a deal. But the, sh the more stuff you put out, the more people can buy. And the, uh, you know, writing these really long, short stories that aren't novels but are long, that just gives me less that I can put out. So, you know, uh, I need to figure that out. So next time around... I'm going to try and do uh, what I did with the story that we ran on our show called, shoot, it has a dumb title, um, 
Through the Din of Silence, which is my story about, uh, you know, there, there was a disease that was making children less uh, intelligent than they needed to be, and it was becoming so prevalent that people couldn't uh, just, you know, deal with it. And so they started having to euthanize all the kids with this disease. Um, in that story, I tried to tell the story through a certain number of scenes, and that was it. You know, I just had the scenes, and that's what I was going to tell, and I, and I put it together that way. And I tried to cut out all the crap in between. And yeah, I think next time around I need to try and do that so that my story doesn't run longer than hell. Uh, so, yeah, my final um, goal was to publish a story. And I don't feel too bad about not getting there. Um, I've got the Smashwords uh, guide the style guide or whatever it's called and I've got uh, you know I could work on it at any time and I think once I get going and learn how to publish a story I can plow through these stories really fast so I'm not feeling bad that I've fallen one story behind um, for my annual total that I need to get by the end of the year I think once I figure it out, I'll be able to get, you know, just spend an, a night and get two or three stories done just in one day, uh, eventually. I'm not like Rish. It's funny because Rish, <laughs> I was talking with him and telling him about how I was afraid I wasn't going to get to that part. And he's like, well, you could work on getting the, uh, the art done because once you get the art done, hey, then the hardest part is out of the way and, and the rest is just easy and I just laughed about that because for me that's not the hardest part um, the art I can do I know what to do and I can do it easily I could do art for him uh, you know I could do five things for him a day if I if I needed to um, I have no trouble throwing together something like that and I enjoy it too uh, so, you know, that's not a big deal. Formatting a, a book, uh, A, I don't know what I'm doing with that yet. So that's not the uh, easy part. It's the hard part because I have no idea what I'm doing. And B, that doesn't sound like fun, like putting together uh, some piece of art does. So, you know everybody has their stumbling blocks and mine is keeping me from publishing just as much as riches keeps him from publishing i just need to figure out uh how it works and get around it i just need to really i just need to sit down and put the time into it um and i think i'm definitely going to do that this month i will do it uh, and get it to work the one other issue with that I worry about is it talks all about how to do things in the style guide using Microsoft Word. Uh, I don't have Microsoft Word, I have a Mac, and so I've never bothered with Microsoft Word. These days I write everything on the Google uh, Drive uh, writing app. So it's all on there. I don't think it'll be a big problem though because I write my stuff so that it can be formatted easily. Uh, like when I something's supposed to be in italics, I just put underscores around it so that they can be found, even if you, you know, just copy and paste it into something completely different and none of the formatting goes with it. So I think it'll be okay. Um, I just have to figure out how it goes. But yeah, I think it, that it's gonna work out. So far, it's been going good. I've written a lot more than I have uh, in days past, in days of future past. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm on my way to perhaps what will be my most productive year yet. And that's just this year, and I just barely started being productive too in the last month or month and a half or two. 
Um, so, you know, it's going to be pretty cool when the when the month come or when the year comes to an end. And 2015 is only going to look up ten times more because I'm going to keep at it. I got five years. Uh, my dream is a goal with a deadline. Wait, my goal is a dream with a deadline. So we're going to get there. Um, I'm saying, why not? I'm going to the mountain because the mountain won't come to me. Wait, what's the... I am going with the mountain. I am... Shoot, I can't even remember the end of uh, all the places you'll go. Your mountain is... My mountain is waiting and I'm getting on my way. I'm going to get that mountain. So you can tune in next month, right about the start of the month. I'll be doing another report to let you know if I wrote every day of the month, if I managed to finish the story, the novella that I'm working on now, and if I managed to get, I'm supposed to get two stories done this month. Um, I would assume I should be able to write 30,000 words if I was able to write 15,000 in the space of uh, 15 days, 16, I guess, if you really want to be honest. Uh, so if I write twice as many days, I should get twice as many words, right? So 30,000 words is what I hope to get. 15,000 is my goal. So I'll let you know if I fulfilled that, if I wrote my two stories, or what, act, what I actually mean to write, which is the rest of this story, plus a chapter in Sunny and Gray, plus one more story, which will be called Undo. Um, which is kind of just a, a second story. The story I'm working on now is called Do Over, and it's about a guy who goes back in time and gets to do things over. And Undo is uh, just another twist on the same concept, but a much more eviler twist. Um, and, uh, yeah, so if those things are all done, I'll be able to let you know. And... Um, yeah, those are my goals, and I'll let you know whether I got my three stories published on Smashwords. And then, if I have got them, I will beg you to go and buy them. Um, so yeah, tune back in next next month and see how things are going. Uh, I'm going to leave you with my inspirational quote uh, song that I put together. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Maybe you can be inspired by it as well. The music is by Kevin McLeod from Incompetech, and it is freaking rad. It's really inspiring, and I love it. And then all the quotes are picked from here, there, and everywhere. Uh, so you can listen to it and, uh, and see if you feel inspired by it as well. Thanks for listening, everybody. I hope you have a nice rest of the day. I'll talk to you later. Big Anklevich here. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to a great place. You're off and away. Goal should be a dream with a deadline. That's why I gave you five years. You miss 100% of the shots you never take. Take the shot. There will always be things in the way you dream. You go out and you find why not. You surround yourself with why not. Live a why not life, man. Today is where we are. Today is the starting day. I know what we're going to do today. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and 3 quarters percent guaranteed.
Dreams don't come true. Dreams are made true. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Bye-bye, boy. Have fun storming the castle. Think it'll work? It would take a miracle. Bye-bye. Bye.